hello guys welcome once again in the last video i have shown you how to implement or to complete with your text box in your windows form application in c sharp so for example i have set a custom list of com countries and when i uh, type some words here it gives me the suggestion for auto completes complete right in this video i will show you how to connect your text box with the database so that it will suggest you the values from the database so if you are following these uh, videos on uh, mysql database and c sharp i have made such a uh, application and in the video number 56 which i want to show you here video number 56 C sharp tutorial 56 search data in the database and filter in data grid view or table in C sharp in this video I have shown you how to search data and filter it into the table so for example uh, right now I am searching according to this surname so I type some surname for example B so it gives me the suggestion all B Bell so we have two surname with Bell or whatever you write here it gives me it searches the data and gives me the suggestions right but some of you have been asking me uh, that how can we uh, implement autocomplete in this text box in this search text box so it gives me the su suggestions and then it will filter the values in this table so in this video I will show you exactly how to do that so let's close our program and this is our program and this was the implementation just double click this search text box which i have shown in the video number 56 and this code this three line code i have shown you in video number 56 okay so for implementing auto complete with your text box we are going to load that values in your uh, text box or custom custom those values so what I will do is just above this uh, text box text change event method I will create my own function or method so I write here void which returns nothing and I give my function name as auto complete text takes no argument and just completes your function and in this function we are going to implement our autocomplete method so first of all what you need to do is just go to the form once again and copy the name of your text box search text box I should say so just click it and copy the name of this text box so what was the name so my text box name was text box 1 which I'm changing for example search text so I name this uh, text box as search text this text box okay and now I will go to the program once again here I have created my autocomplete method and in this method I paste my the name of my text box for search and I click dot and I write autocomplete source first no first of all I will uh, set 
auto complete mode first so I select this auto complete mode is equal to auto complete mode dot suggest append this method bracket and bracket closed so I did that I think this suggest append will not take this bracket so now it's okay so I write my text box name auto complete mode is equal to auto complete mode uh, dot this suggest append mode once again I copy the name of my text box I paste it here and I set auto complete source this time okay so just select auto complete source is equal to auto complete source dot we have these all options we are going to select custom source so just select this custom source and complete the bracket and in the third line just once again select your search box paste it here and then write dot autocomplete custom source just select this or I think you need don't need even to write this line you just write autocomplete string connection collection and give it a variable name call I name it as call is equal to new auto complete string collection bracket and bracket closed so in this auto complete string collection variable I will uh, collect all my database values okay so I have written these three lines and in the fourth line I establish the connection from the database so what I will suggest you because it will be uh, too long if I explain explain you how to connect with the database once again so I suggest you to watch this uh, video number 10 in which I have shown you how to link combo box with the database if you if you are following these video you will uh, not have any problem understanding the code or but otherwise just see this how to link your combo box with the database I will copy whole code from that method which I have used in that video and I will I'm going to paste in our method autocomplete method so I go up and I search for fill combo method which I have used in video number 10 and here it is so in the video number 10 I have used this fill combo method and I have shown you this code so I am copying all the code from here which is basically just a connection with the database and executing the query from the database so copy all the code from this string to the end of this try catch block and once again we go to our autocomplete method here okay and just below these declaration autocomplete connection call declaration just below this I paste my code from my video number 10 so what this code is basically it's creating the connection with MySQL database so this line is for that and then I'm writing the query which is select star from my database name dot my table name then I write MySQL collection variable give it a variable name is equal to new MySQL connection and pass this connection here and then I create a command variable MySQL command is equal to new MySQL command and I pass the query and the connection variable here this variable and the query 
and then I created a try catch block so if, if any exception this try catch block will um, catch and then I open the database with con database this MySQL connection variable and I create this MySQL data reader variable is equal to this database command variable dot execute reader and while it continues reading I am taking the values from the database and set setting it into my string variable right so now what I am going to do is I will not change anything in the program I will just keep it same so if you want just pause the video and copy it as it is if you are using MySQL database and of course above this we have all three lines of this code which we have written earlier so this query will also remain same select star from the database and here in the while loop I was taking this name variable name and setting it into this string variable so right now because I am searching for surname in my text box I can change it as name first so name so right now I am searching for name in my table right and in here also this is table I delete this combo box dot item dot add code from here inside this while loop and what I'm doing I will do is I'll copy this call variable autocomplete string collection call variable just copy it go inside your while loop here and click dot add and bracket and bracket closed and inside these bracket I pass this name variable okay so pass this name variable so what it will do is it will take all the names from my database and set it into this collection variable of my text box and now once my code is complete if you want just pause the video and copy the code and now once it's complete I want to copy this method name autocomplete text method which I have created and I want to go up where my initialize component method is there if you remember this method initializes first when you run your program so go to your public declaration of your form and here wherever you find this initialize component method just below that this is by default in every program so just below that paste your new function name autocomplete text and close it so it will execute this method at the starting of your running of your form so now when it's complete let's try and run the program username and database correct I load all the values in the table and now just see here it already has called my autocomplete text me method because I have called it in the declaration and now I want to type some name here from this list so for example uh, J and it's not giving me any suggestions so I must have done something wrong or I left some code in my code so let's see what I have done wrong so I come to my this autocomplete text method and I have written all the code here so I think you remember all the code so I think I have 
defined or I have collected all the values from the database in this call variable here in my while loop but I have forgot to set these call values in my text box this search text box so at the bottom of your method after this try catch completes what you need to do is just copy the name of the text box once again for the search search text box name which is search text once again go to the code and so in your autocomplete method at the bottom of your method just before the closing of your method just paste your search text box name and write dot autocomplete custom source okay is equal to this call which is autocomplete string collections variable right so copy this call variable and paste it here complete it like this okay so I forgot this line I collected all the data from the database but I haven't set this collection to my uh, text box now it should give me suggestions so let's try and run the program load the table once again I type some words from this name so for example J it gives me all suggestions here you are seeing I can click this Jill and it finds me Jill it I can click this John and it gives me John name here okay so it's working now and that's what I wanted so you have successfully implemented or in your search method for which is connected with the database once again you want to search for word ha Hassan you have two suggestion which letter H you select one and it search the name Hassan and then it filters the value and set it into this table so I hope you understand the, what I wanted to show you and please keep watching this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now